Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to FNAF Help Wanted 2 Overview. It's been a while since the last FNAF game on the Quest platform, and I think it was like 4 years already. It kinda seems like it released not too long ago, but it actually first appeared on the OG Quest, so we we're kinda skipping two generations of headset to play the sequel. With that in mind, I expect a big upgrade, because after so much time has passed, well, it has to be. <laughs> so FNAF Help Wanted 2 is a sequel to the iconic horror franchise, where once again as a brand new fast beer employee, you find yourself among the pizzeria animatronics, take care of various tasks there and find out what is it like to be an entertainment superstar. With FNAF you can kinda always expect what is gonna happen in general, although this sequel shows different side of it I feel like. There's gonna be some mini games and challenges to do outside of the security booth, which is what I pretty much look forward to because being stuck alone in the darkness isn't necessarily that fun after a couple jump scares in a row. Graphically it seems rather decent, models as always polished, environments might be in a lower quality bracket and jumping from prequel to this one I kinda expect things to be a bit more developed after a couple years. The trailer might be also misleading and will be again sit in the chair of power and control the doors. I'd be kinda disappointed disappointed because I don't want to play the same thing over and over which this franchise is kinda known about and this sequel might be changing the dynamic a bit where it was very much needed. I'm not particularly a fan of the series nor horror so there's no surprise here. But it's nice Steel Wool did not forget our little platform here and another big brand continues its legacy in VR. Let's go back to the pizzeria. Y'all think you're so funny, huh? Fazbear Entertainment is offering a new on-the-job training position for a future pizza professional. We would love to give you more details, but for legal reasons are unable to without a signed non-disclosure agreement. Fazbear Entertainment acknowledges that past work conditions have not been ideal. However, we can provide you with a 100% safety intention guarantee. To accept this position, press or say 1. We didn't quite get that, but we know what you intended. Welcome to the team. Your first day starts now. Holly. I've waited like two minutes to load it. So we're back in the pizzeria. The resolution is absolutely not crazy. <laughs> like I would have static noises, no pun intended, in the television. So I don't know, like, is this still OG Quest version or something? So those are like mini games. I don't know, I'd have to choose something randomly. But I'm a, a cook by profession, so I'll do some food prep. <laughs> oh my god, the loading times have been crazy. Jesus. Welcome to your new career in food service. It is a task so simple a human can do it. Pay attention. I am only going to say this once. Step 1. You will receive an order which tells you what food to prepare. Step 2. Make that food. Step 3. Place the food on the serving tray. Do not forget the size and drinks. 
Step 4. Ring the bell when the food is ready to be delivered to a hungry guest. Receive a new order and the cycle repeats, for the rest of your life, or until you get old and are replaced by someone younger. Get the orders right or you will be severely reprimanded. You have been adequately trained, now prepare for the dinner rush. I don't know if I actually understood. <laughs> But I'll try my best. Remember the three states of food prep. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That's it? Rocky Natchez. Oh. <laughs> I am waiting. Take forever. Why don't you? I need to cook it. You dropped the rice. It's the same. The three this could easily be a can trucking game. And I do a bad service. Also, their movement are a little bit stuttery. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, don't need light. Push you are not done. I assume at the end of the countdown there's gonna be a jump scare. Or when they will be waiting too long. I mean, this is very easy. It is not rocket time. 
I wonder if there's gonna be like a sudden jump scare just to keep you on your toes. Ew, the sauce is on this. How long do I have to play this? I'll see something else. What about backstage arts and crafts? Oh, also, can we like access the main gameplay? The one with security? I suppose it unlocks later. What am I pending? Oh, okay. Come on. Well, this is very general. I don't even know what's the time. Weird, huh? He needs a bow. What's this? Okay, now it makes more sense. I don't see the teeth.
Is that correct? Yeah. A lot of searching. Well, that's not aligned properly on the plate. To be fair, I'm kind of bored and I want to see the jump scare or whatever is going to happen. Cool. I don't really care. <laughs> Overall, it doesn't seem like this is a sequel at all. <laughs> Graphics are like very average, probably even below and at the same time on par with the prequel, which is very weird to me, especially in this day and age of VR technology. After all, it's a visual game, so that department has to be like on point. The gameplay is rather boring, like not really eventful. And if you want to have something happened, you need to either wait for it or actually just pummel through the challenge, cause at least from what I've tried, you actually have to be either stupid or a child to not understand the tasks at hand. Which is why this is more catering to the younger audience and stuff like that. Even though I'm not that into the series, to me this is a subpar project that could have been done much better with the resources that developers have. And I just don't see the fun part of it.